Hello everyone and welcome back to High Mathematics. In this video we are going to solve this really interesting Olympiad algebra problem. We need to find our m when 3 to the m minus 2 to the m equal to 65. Really interesting problem but I want to show you a real quick and really good approach how can we solve it. So let's try to solve it. So 3 to the m minus 2 to the m equal to 65. So we have this this expression. What we're we going to do next? I want to show you a really good trick. So for example we have 3 to the m and minus 2 to the m. But right here I wanted to raise it to a really interesting power. So if we raise this to the power 2 over 2 and right here to the power 2 over 2 we will have of course equal to 65. On the first hand side this is really weird, weird uh, trick but this equal to 1 so nothing change. But I want to show you why I raise it to this power. Because if we have a to the power m all raised to the power n, we can write it as a to the power m times n, or moreover we can write it as a to the power n raised to the power m. This is a really good rule that we need right here and as I want you to remember this rule or to learn this rule. So this rule give us to swap these powers, these exponents. So we can swap this. For example, let's write this Two right here because we can do that we can swap these powers so we will have 3 to the power m over 2 all to the second power and minus 2 to the power m over 2 to the second power equal to 65 so I hope you understand this step and moreover we can easily read it to the second power and we will have all the same we will have all the same m but right now we can write that this 3 to the power m over 2 will be our x for example and 2 to the power m over 2 will be our y. It will be a little bit easier for us with it. So we, right now we have that our x square we have that our x square minus y square equal to 65. So right now we have a really good really good expression right now x square minus y square equal to to 65. What are we going to do next? Of course, really good formula, x square minus y square, we can easily write it as x plus y times x minus y, so I write it right here. We will have that our x plus y times x minus y equal to 65. How can we solve this interesting, interesting problem? We need to find we need to express this 65. Of course the best way to express this and one and only way to express this 65 is 13 times 5. So let's express this 65 as 13 times 5. This is one the only case that we can express it. So x plus y and x minus y on the left hand side. And take a look right here we have x plus y which is greater than x minus y. So this x plus y need to be equal to 13 and x minus y need to be equal to 5. So I hope you understand this step. This is greater than this, so this is equal to 13. So we will have a really interesting system of equations. We will have that our x plus y equal to 13 and our x minus y equal to 5. Let's add this system. If we add this, we will cancel this y. So we will have 2x. So we will have 2x equal to 18 and x equal to 9. And of course, plug in x, for example, in in this equation 9 minus y equal to 5 so from here y equal to equal to 4. So this is our x and y but we in the beginning we work with with m so we need to find m. How can we find it? Of course we write that but x is equal to 3 to the power m over 2 but x equal to 9 so we'll have that 3 to the power m over 2 equal to 9. Really classic equation with, with power, so 3 to the power m over 2 equal to 3 square and from here m over 2 equal to 2 and of course m equal to 4 will be our will be our will be our answer. Of course we can easily plug in for example with with y we will have that our y equal to 2 to the power m over 2 y equal to 4, so we'll have 2 to the power m over 2 equal to 4, 2 to the power m over 2 equal to 2 square, and of course m over 2 equal to 2, where m equal to equal to 4 as well on the right hand side and on the left hand side we'll have the same 
the same answer. So my answer is m equal to 4. What about you? How about your solution? So let's check. Let's check our answer. We will have 3 to the fourth minus 2 to the fourth equal to 3 to the fourth 81 minus 2 to the fourth will be 16, I guess. Yes, yeah, 16 equal to 65, which is absolutely correct. So our answer is, is good to this equation. So if you still have any question, write a question in the comment. It will be really nice to read it. And of course, subscribe to my videos if you enjoyed. I really appreciate it and see you in the next videos.